バイバイしますバイバイ Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's seminar.、Uh, before starting the presentation, I just want to check if you can hear me. Okay, I think it's good. So I will start the presentation here. So the, today's topic is RxI vs Rx Alpha. Quite many people get confused between these two models. So, today I will going to explain、uh, deeply about the differences between LXI and LX Alpha so that you can choose the best model for your application. So, what is RX? RX is a benchtop refractometer.、Uh, if you compare it with PAL1 or Master. Series that are digital and analog pocket style and handheld style refractometers. RX has wider measurement range and it also has high accuracy. So, if PAL or Master are for、uh, quick and easy use, RX series are more for、uh, precise or strict quality control. And it can be used in any industries from food, beverage industry to cosmetics and flavor and fragrance industries. So, here are some instruments that have both I series and alpha series. 5000 is a basic one, 5000 I plus or alpha plus is the most accurate. Uh, has most accurate、uh, measurement. And 7000i and alpha has wide range. And 9000 alpha、uh, and i has wide range, high temperature, and high accuracy. Sorry, it can measure、uh, samples with high temperature. So、these two instruments are only, for,、uh, only have alpha series. 5000 alpha bed has flat sample stage like the image. And 007 alpha uh, uh, is for samples with low concentrations like coffee,、uh, no, no, tea kind of things. So、here I wrote down some common specifications of RxI and Alpha. So they both have automatic temperature control, which means it has built in Peltier thermal module. So remember, our PAL or master had the automatic temperature compensation, which means it can compensate the temperature and read the value as if the temperature is 20 degrees C. So, it kind of、uh, adjusts the、uh, values, not temperature. But this RX series can control the temperature. So, it has automatic temperature control. So, it's the difference between automatic temperature compensation and automatic temperature control. And RX series h a v e sapphire prism, which、uh, Paul and Master don't. So, it means it has more durability. So, both models have、uh, five modes, and you can change the modes depending on your,、uh, what you want, like whether you want fast results or the sample is low bricks. But basically, many people use the mode one, which is the、uh, most normal、uh, mode. So, let's move on to the differences between RxI and Alpha. First is screen style. So, RxI has touch screen, but Alpha,、uh, you have to 
click the button to move to different display. So touch screen style iOS I is more like um, iPhone kind of style and uh, RX Alpha with button screen not button uh, is more like the analog cell phone kind of thing so they have different data output uh, systems I has USB and also printer and RX Alpha has RS232C and also printer as for the scales, RXI has pre-programmed special scales, which means you don't have to um, input any scales by yourself, but the instrument already has the scales so that you can uh, easily change the scales that you want. But RXI also has the uh, user scale system, so you can also program if there is um, if you don't have uh, scales that you want in the pre-programmed special scales. RX Alpha only has uh, programmable scales. RXI also has a self-diagnostic system and you can change sound easily, which I will explain later on the video. And the Peltier control range is RX, it's from 5 to up to 75 degrees C, but RX alpha, the range is from 5 to 60 degrees C. So there's a little bit of difference in the Peltier control range. Okay, I think it's easier to see the video to um, uh, to see deeply more about the differences between RXI and Alpha. So I will move on to the video. Just give me one second. Okay, can you see the video? No? You can? Let's start from RX Alpha. So you have the uh, prism made from Sapphire here and zero setting. So as you can see, you have to press that button. There are five buttons. Every time you want to change the screen, you actually have to uh, click the button to change. So we are going to use the same sample for RXI and Alpha today. This is tomato juice. You put sample on the sample stage and don't forget to close the plate. Reading is 5.80%. So to see the refractive index value, you have to uh, click the button to change the display and you now see the refractive index. And to see the history, also you have to uh, click the button. So I will explain a little bit about user scale. So you put a sample name and refractive index and data of the sample you want to measure. This is RS232C, that is data output. 
Moving on to RxI, as you can see, this is the screen style. So you can act, you don't have to click the button like Rx Alpha, but you can press the icons that you want to change the screen. So this is the self -diagnos uh, diagnosis function, which only Rxi has. First, you clean the sample stage and the prison with water. It is important that you clean the sample stage before self-diagnosis. So this self-diagnosis system uh, checks the condition of the instrument, whether um, there is any buildup on the sample stage or there is any damage on the prison. If it's the good condition, it's completely okay. So the zero setting procedure is same with Rx Alpha. You put uh, water on the stage and press start. It's important to zero set after you clean up the prism on a sample stage because if there's any buildup on the prism and if you zero set, uh, it will affect the next measurement. So we are using the same sample tomato juice for our XI. The reading is 5.82%. Uh, remember, the Rx alpha value was 5.80%. Uh, there's a 0.02% difference between the two instruments. But remember, the accuracy of this instrument, I mean, the Rx 5000 series, is uh, zero plus minus 0.03%. So it's within the accuracy range. And also, the sample is tomato juice, so uh, it's it easily um, uh, build up on the stage. And yeah. So you can see the measurement history like this. And if you want to um, output the data, you can uh, move on to this display and I'll put the data as you want. So remember, RxI has pre-programmed special scales. I think it's 20 scales we have. So yeah, not only bricks and refractive index, it has glucose, fructose, like sodium chloride, and other special scales that are pre-programmed. That means you don't have to input uh, values by yourself. So just a quick uh, notification. You can change the sound as well. So RxI has the USB, uh, the, uh, uh, the source for USB memory and printer. Yeah, I forgot to mention that you can actually, oh, how do I get back? So I forgot to mention about this. But uh, with RxI, you can actually see uh, the BRICS value and refractive index value on the same screen. The Rx alpha, uh, you had to click the button to move to see the refractive index. But the RxI series, uh, you can see both values on the same screen.
Okay. I think it's the end of the presentation. Uh, can you see the presentation? No. Okay.